How's it going everybody? It's been a little while since I've made a video. Um, yeah, it's been it's been a little bit since uh, June actually, since Gazette's album. Um, I know some albums have come out of ones I kind of wanted to talk about, so I'll just kind of knock them out. Uh, honestly, I just haven't felt motivated to do it. Um, Daryl's uh, Eyes, or yeah, Eyes uh, new band, I guess, from Death Gaze, Daryl's album Darksness, D-A-R-X-N-E-S-S, -S. Uh, pretty good, good album, uh, solid album, awesome. Um, disappointingly enough, Lynch's new album, meh. I, I, I debated so long, should I make a video talking about it, should I not? And just, the more I listened to the album, the more meh I felt about it. And I was, it's disappointing, it's just a whole album's like rockabilly, not a lot of energy, not a lot of passion. They have a new bassist that they finally like show in their videos and like credit to, and it's just like, it's a shame. Um, they're not, I don't know, the, the, the whole album... Nothing about it struck me at all, honesty, honestly. Um, some singles here and there. Bandmade came out with a single. Um, hold on real quick. Let me go through my little, let's see. Muck came out with a single. Razor came out with a single. Dexcore is a new band I'm getting into. They don't have a full-length album yet, but the... Uh, the the main thing to know about Dexcore is the drummer is the drummer from Death Gaze. So two different members in two different bands. Uh, two, yeah, of the same band, Death Gaze. One's in Dexcore, and uh, the lead singer is in Daryl. Um, Dexcore sounds completely different from Death Gaze. Daryl sounds uh, exactly like Death Gaze. There's really it's it's Death Gaze, but. Uh, Obviously, the drumming in Dexcore is amazing. I highly recommend giving Dexcore a shot. You can even download the music off Amazon, MP3. They only have like a few singles here and there. The Dead Sea, Black Pig, uh, Imitation, and their new one, New Era. Uh, the New Era song is pretty awesome and right away just awesome. Um, anyone else make a... There's... Oh, Miyavi doing like his, you know, single a month, Get Into My Heart. Pretty good. Good pop song. Uh, all, overall, decent, it's been good, but nothing really, like, motivated me to make a video, uh, except for this album, which, by the way, real quick, before I get, I need to say this, the Gazette, uh, ninth album, I talked about how I didn't like the last song was the last song, and that should be replaced in, like, one of the harder songs, I changed my mind. I still am fully convinced that the last song should be in the middle of the album. However, it should be switched with my favorite song. My, I think I said my favorite song was Abhor God or the other one. My favorite song on ninth, and one of my favorite Gazette songs now, I just listening to the album over and over again, is The Mortal. That song, like, hits me. Something about that. And I read the lyrics, too. It's like, oh, I kind of relate to, like, losing... A woman in my life or something like that um yeah it hits me it hits me like that it's just like everything about that song especially how Ruki sings the chorus it just that needs to be the last song of the album replace it that's all that's all I want to say I just I've been dying to say that but yeah so I'm just gonna slip this in to this so all right this album Chidora by Dim Lim first off Dim Lim that's a name. <laughs> it's an interesting name. It's easy, that's for sure. Uh, all one word, D-I-M-L-I-M. -I -M. Um, this is a concept album. This is their first full-length album. So someone uh, recently just commented on one of my old videos saying how, oh, you don't really talk about, I, I don't like how you uh, don't know the band members' names and blah, 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 blah. Like, Whatever, but I'm gonna I'm gonna cater to that. So before I talk about the album, this is a newer band that's been formed. I think, oh, last year, really? This was formed last. I didn't hear anything about these guys last year. Like I just heard about these guys a few months ago, and I'll talk about where I, uh, how I found out about them. So uh, 
the voice, the vocals are show. And listen, before I made this video, I tried to do a little research. I have two different web pages here talking about the members and their pictures and stuff like that. I can't find any information about this guy prior to Dim Lim. I don't know if he was a part of another band. Even though they're mentioning these other members who are part of other bands, show just like popped out of nowhere. Um, it needs to be mentioned that, wow, what a vocalist he is, especially metal. I'm going to make some comparisons to a certain other very famous Japanese metal vocalist, which I'm sure is going to get me in hot water and people are going to comment, but I'll leave that for that. So I just kind of want to run through the band and this album, and we'll get to that. Uh, one of the guitarists, uh, Retsu, another guitarist, Ryuya, uh, bassist, Taishi, and drummer, Hiroshi. They also had other... Uh, a bassist, Tsubasa, and Issei was the original drummer. I believe Issei, they were a part of... Hold on. So Issei, Saya, hated Harvey, Shins, Neo, the... No. So, alright. Ah, no, none of these bands I've, I've ever... D.I.D. was one of the... Uh, Retsu was a part of... I don't know of that. Um, Veril, Pizarro, Dimlim, Dimlim. Yeah, I don't know of DID. Arish? Erish? No, I've never heard of these other bands that the, a few, a couple of the members have been in. But, um, yeah, so this is kind of like, a, um, so, for the most part, like a brand new band. It, and... All right, let's just get it out of the way. I know it's going to be... T I'm going to be mentioning this one band a lot, and I'm sure it's going to get me in trouble because it's a very respected band because they're considered legends. They've been making music since the 90s. They're still going. They're coming out with an album, I think, next month? Yes. Um, so I'm going to be making a lot of comparisons from Dim Lim to Duran Gray. Get out of there, and I'm going to be making a lot of comparisons of show to Kyo, uh, especially with this album. Now, uh, prior to this album, they've only had, now let me bring what I have of their music. I think only a few singles. Where are you? Dim Limb. There we go. So yeah. Okay, so they made two singles, or uh, actually a mini album called Var Various. And which is six songs, and then the silent song single, which is three songs. Uh, that's it. That's they made that last year, and then this is their first full length album, and it's a concept album. And I kind of get what it means for this album. It's a very, 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 very unique album. So, um, yeah. But now they kind of. Oh, how should I word this? They kind of um, matched. That's not really the right word I want to use. But they kind of matched Duran Gray's energy. Uh, show. his. I struggle to say this because I know I'm going to get hate for this. Show does a lot of stuff the way Keo does it. Uh, in terms of his singing. In terms of his growling. In terms of his pig squealing. He is able, and fuck it, I'm going to say it, to match Kyo. He's, and Kyo is a living legend, and just, we all, if, you, if you listen to Japanese metal, you know about Duran Gray, and you respect them, and you know Kyo is one of a kind. You know his voice is one of a kind, and he's also had surgery before too, but um, this guy, it's amazing. Like I can't find anything about this guy, but he can match Kyo. Especially with this Chiodora album. He, in my honest opinion, he fucking goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kyo. Um, certain styles of Duran Gray. I'm going to kind of make some comparisons. But, yeah, and their music videos. That's kind of what I want to talk about here. Is their older music videos, they are creepy. He does his makeup thing. They also have, I think their very first music video, it's mainly a woman, like, tied up. And he's very creepy and... It's a lot of like old school Dur on Grey. 
And speaking of old school Duran Gray, Chiodora, Ch- I'm gonna make I'm gonna make sure Che Do Dora Doara, Che Dorara Doara, Che Do I'm just gonna say Chiodora, whatever Che Doara, Che Doara. Um, people love it when I mispronounce, <laughs> but yeah. So speaking of old school Duran Gray, this album, and I feel like. Well, no, this album is a little bit different from their past music from the a year, a little bit. But it's a mix of Duran Gray of Morrow of the Morrow of a Bone, which was like 2007 Duran Gray, and up to and a combination of like Dumb Spiro Spero slash RK album. Like it has the energy and the intensity and the experimentation of Morrow of a Bone. But it has the production and the sound engineering and just the explosion of the bass, the drums, and the guitar. Like, just the overall great sound quality that RK and Dumb Spiro Spero had. And that's what this album is. It is that crazy intensity of, like, the 2007 Duran Gray. But it's also the sound engineering and the production value of the newer Duran Gray. So, that's what you're getting with this album. And with this album, 12 tracks, however, track 1 and 6 are noise. They're just intros. Uh, The last album is the only song I can say is a ballad. So here's the thing with this album. There is a lot of experimentation. There is a a There's a little bit of... um, fooling you there's a little bit of tricking you for instance the first song track number two grotesque it opens up and you're gonna think oh oh it's gonna start off with a ballad no halfway through the song it kind of changes and that's what they do they make it seem like this is gonna be a ballad nope no it's not uh there are songs on here it's like oh i think it's gonna be ballad no every track up until the last one and even the last one has some energetic parts, but it's definitely nothing compared to all the other songs. And um, I like it. There are some songs that start off right off the bat. It's just hardcore and heavy. I will say the majority of the songs are short. Uh, a little over two and a half minutes. Uh, below three minutes. Some of them are over three minutes, but I totally get why it's a concept album. There's a lot of experimentation. There's a lot of like just explosive sounds combined with soothing sounds too. It's I really, really, really enjoy what they did with this album, and it just needs to get put out there. Like I need to, I need people to know about this band. I need to for people to hear this album. In my honest opinion, this is probably. Am I confident in saying this? In terms of full-length albums, this is probably my second favorite album of the year, obviously next to Ninth. I've been playing this album on repeat since I got it a few days ago, which, by the way, it is a hard album to get. However, uh, there are a couple websites that I know of. I'm debating whether or not to post the links in the description, uh, because for people like me in America... um, yeah, it's not supporting the band, I'll say that. Although I'd love to, I would love to buy this album. I would absolutely love to buy this album. But um, even though you can't buy this album, you can, you know, unless if you want to pay out of the ass for shipping. But I've said numerous times my opinion on that. But it people have been posting this. I really feel like people who have heard this album respect this album. It's like, whoa, this is something new. And... I really, really recommend you giving this album and this band a chance. This is something brand new, something experimental. I don't know how much they can keep this amazing, unique sound going, but I'm definitely along for the ride right now. Now, what needs to be talked about and what brought me on the dim limb ride here is the song Vanitas. They put this music video out four months ago, three months ago? Not sure, but... Uh, I know I've been listening to it for a while. I've been going to that YouTube video. Uh, go to Dim Lim Vanitas, V-A-N-I-T-A-S. There's a full music video. You'll see show he 
you know, has long blonde hair and like fishnet thing and the white eyes. You know, we've seen many visual K do this, but he's wearing a tuxedo. And uh, my God, this song is just on a whole fucking level. This is just, this song caught my attention. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think this is the song that got me in the dim limb and then I just kind of like backtraced. But my God, this song. start It's a combination of like jazz and metal and some blues. No, I think just like jazz and like alternative rock and just hardcore metal <laughs> and then some like electronical electronica music it's like it is so hard to describe this song like a little electronic techno whatever blues or uh jazz i mean and alternative rock and just hardcore metal yeah it's just wow this this is a song listen to the song so this is track number 11 and this is a song that starts off with an amazing like guitar um that's a catchy hook but it's uh not distorted not anything it's just a catchy like jazzy kind of guitar then it goes into metal ish um good sweeping there's so much good guitar sweeping on this song especially at the end the whole calm perfect way to end the song what will really get your attention is how the song goes from like a jazzy, um, calm acoustic, but not really acoustic, just calm tone to and um, but then it has this amazing chorus that he can tire entirely sings in a high pitched, just like Kyo, like Rinkaku, how that whole song is sung in like a high pitched voice, um. This song, like, the chorus is going to fucking get you. And, oh my god, it's just such a catchy chorus. Then it goes into, like, a breakdown. And then he decides to hold this high-pitched growling scream. Kind of like the way Chester Bennington did, uh, held his growling scream and given up. Where he starts high, goes a little mid, and then goes a little more mid, and then ends the scream. I, I don't know how long the scream is. Uh, 15, 20 seconds, maybe? I don't know. Maybe not even that long. Maybe it's around 15 seconds. And then, yeah, some sweeping. Uh, I think some electronic sound. And then into the chorus. And then this, like, um, after the last chorus, uh, this amazing, like, guitar sweeping that's just like, whoa, this is kind of relaxing. Oh, my God. It's just, this is an album. If you're a metal fan, if you're especially a J-Rock uh, Japanese metal fan, you need to listen to this album. However, with that being said, it's not for everyone. <laughs> it's for sure not for everyone. This is an experimental album. You're either going to love this album and think, wow, this is new. This is catchy. This is, I don't know. I can't stop listening to this album or be like, what the fuck is this? I, I don't know. I, I feel like this is going to be an album where there's no middle ground. You're either one extreme or the other. I am on the, like, this is a great album, one of my favorite albums of the year, and wow, this is just, like, refreshing. It's nice. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say. Like, take a look at Dim Limb and keep an eye out for them. I'm looking forward to seeing what these guys produce, and hopefully they don't disband or record labels get in their way or anything. Like, this is very interesting. A very interesting album I think really needs the attention of any J-Rock fan out there. Uh, yeah, please let me know what you think of the album and my ramblings going on. I really don't know much to say other than, oh, rating. If I had to give it a rating, I'm going to go with an 8 out of 10. Um, great album, but it's not for everybody. It's, even though you can get the album, uh, you can't buy it, uh, conveniently. Um, two tracks are not actual songs. Just my typical stuff, but it's still such a... What you get in terms of the songs that's produced on the album, it's like... Kind of unforgettable. I don't think I'm going to forget about this album for a while, you know? It's like this and Ninth by Gazette. It's just like, I don't really see anything else topping this. Although, I'm curious to see what Duran Gray produces next month. I honestly... My favorite Duran Gray album is RK. Their last album, and which is insane to say this. That came out four years ago. 
2014, which is insane. I like I I feel like it came out two years ago, but now, um, yeah, let's see what they can do. Uh, their last one was my favorite, and the last single was actually pretty good. But uh, yeah, all right, that's it for me, everybody. Thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, check check out this album and check out the band. It really needs to be said. So, have a good night.